there this is Deborah and as you can see from the title I'm going to be making some cute little miniature soap babies here I have about 24 that's going to need some clothes so I'm actually going to be making some soap dough clothes uh, this is my first time ever making these little babies with clothes on now I've made them but I didn't really even put any color to them before when I made my soap but this time I really wanted to be a little more creative. <laughs> so uh, I have all these babies of different nationalities, call them what you want to. I've got some chocolate babies. I've got some vanilla looking babies. I've got some cream color. I got some babies here. <laughs> but anyway, um, it was pretty challenging to try to make the color as natural as possible. For some of the babies, I was able to use uh, some different colors some amber and a little uh, brown mixed with it. I had to really do a little maneuver in there to get the colors as close as possible. Some of them are a little bit too chocolate. I did use some uh, cocoa powder, some natural cocoa powder here from uh, Redden's Country Store. And uh, I love that store. But anyway, um, I tried to make them as natural as possible. So they're so cute. I just love these little babies. This is going along with my baby line products that I'm uh, working on. I wanted to add these little things as some gifts to some of the customers who purchase some of the baby products. So anyway, I'm just being creative here. I have a lot of ideas in my head, but boy, <laughs> pulling them all out. Uh, I have this little mold here and I have put the melt and pour uh, soap base on. Now what I'm going to do now is just kind of scrape some of the ex excess off there because you want it nice and smooth. Um, so you do have to be careful not to cut your mold. So you just got to work with it. But anyway, um, I kind of wish now that I would have made them all with soap dough instead of just to close with soap dough. But I wasn't sure if I could pull the color out as good as I was able to do with the melt and pour and use the melt and pour colors um, to achieve this look. Like I said, I did use some natural colors like the cocoa powder and some other things to try to bring these colors as close as possible. What I'm doing now is just basically cutting off the excess uh, soap base there. So I'm just trimming them. Some of these little babies faces are like, what in the world? Uh, when I wanted to know how to do this, I went, of course, on YouTube and Etsy's and Pinterest and looked at some of the little babies that was dressed and designed. And that was kind of where I came up with my idea how to make the clothes. Although making them soap dough clothes was a little more challenging for me than using uh, the fun, it, you know, the cake stuff that you use and the, uh, the uh, molding clay. My soap dough was a little bit harder to work with, but... I think we pulled it off pretty good. So as you can see, I got all these little cute babies here and they're like saying, it's cold, put me some clothes on. <laughs> I will, I'm gonna put you some clothes on, just hang on. But anyway, I just wanted to show you the different colors that I was working with. When it came to little chocolate babies, I really wanted to be as realistic as possible because we come in so many different shades there. So I wanted to do quite a few different shades. There's a few with the camera showed them a little bit darker than they really are. Now for my chocolate babies that I use some of the cocoa powder, I noticed the cocoa powder once it dried it had kind of a, I don't know, kind of an ash look to it. So I kind of highlighted, I actually highlighted all of these babies with some of the different colors here. I used, uh, let's see, I mixed, I mixed some uh, acetyl alcohol into some of the uh, micas to achieve you know the cut the being able to paint also use some brown oxide some pigment i use a little bit of everything to try to be as natural as possible i use some micas and more this is a soft pink mica that i use for the lighter babies to put for their cheeks i use some bronze i use a little bit of all colors this is a shimmering brown mica from michaels and more so like i said i was just experimenting here this is actually uh Stardust Mica. This is, I think, a watermelon, pink watermelon. Let's see, pink watermelon. Yeah. So this is for the cheeks of the lighter babies. But I think these babies came out so pretty, and I had so much fun making them. 
Uh, like I said, they're going to go into my collection. Uh, I'm actually going to make some little boxes for them. Or I might buy some boxes, depending on how many uh, that I actually end up making at the end. Well, I don't know if they're going to be an end because I've kind of fallen in love since I've learned how to make these little clothes and stuff. But anyway, um, had a lot of fun and got a lot of work to do here. I've got a lot of projects uh, going. That's why I haven't been uh, making any YouTube videos lately. I have a lot of uh, things I'm doing as far as wholesale, uh, working with a company that's really uh, requiring a lot, a lot of products. So I'm having a lot of fun doing that. So I would probably share more of that as I get more in depth with that, as I get deeper into this um, working with this company. I'm really excited about it. It's a chance for me to be more creative. Um, I'm just really, I'm blessed. I just feel so blessed that this company picked me up <laughs> and just giving me a chance to shine. And I do feel like I'm shining uh, because, um, like I said, I will share more as I get down the line. I'm not one to show my hands right away. I will do a little talking, but showing my hands is actually when the progress is really really going so anyway this little the little darker babies with the cocoa powder I use uh, a little more of a gold tint to them because I really wanted to highlight their skin although when I was making their little clothes um, a lot of it got covered up so but anyway I just felt like being very realistic here when it came to these cute, cute little babies. I just love these little babies. Um, as you can see, at the at, when you will see at the end of the video, I will come on and do a little more talking because, you know, it was like, show your face, show your face. As you notice, a lot of soapers don't show their face. It's not that we don't want to. We, I mean, we just don't feel a need. It's like we're more promoting what we're doing than our faces, but I do like to show my face sometime along the way, so I did today. Now I won't talk all the way through the video, but at the end I will. I do have a little bit to say there, and I will show my face then. So I hope you enjoy watching the rest of the video. Uh, I had so much fun making these little babies and their clothes. Uh, if this is something that you like, uh, I hope that you will enjoy this. Thank you so much. Talk to you later.
there this is Deborah, and I'm back with another video as you can see it's a little bit different uh, I actually made some little soap uh, babies with some soap dough with some real co-processed soap dough now this is for a special project that I'm working on and I really wanted to give it my best now I started off really a little shaky with the clothes because I had never made any soap dough clothes before I'd made those little babies before but not with clothes on so it was quite a challenge but as I got comfortable with it it started flowing a lot better after all I had 24 to make 24 babies to put some diapers on or some clothes on but I had 24 babies that needed some clothes on so we got them dressed <laughs> But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I hope you hit the like button because that's pretty important on YouTube You hit the like button. So I hope you do that for me. Uh, I hope to see you again next time. Thank you so much. Have an awesome and a blessed day. Bye-bye now.